Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Life of Katrina. As you can see at the uh, bottom of this video, what the title says, we're going to be making cream cheese Sprite Bunt Cake. Yes, cream cheese Sprite Bunt Cake. And I'm going to show you some of the things that you're going to need. It's a real simple, it's simple uh, ingredients that you're going to need in your cake. So let me show you. Okay, you're going to need, these are the ingredients you're going to need for this cake. You're going to need three sticks of room temperature butter. I also have an eight ounce cream cheese. Let me see if I can bring out a little closer, a little back. Okay. Um, let me make sure. So it's three room, te room temperature three sticks of uh, butter unsalted and I have one amp eight ounce uh, cream cheese in here as well and you're gonna need three cups of sugar we have our five eggs I also have my lemon zest my uh, vanilla extract and I have lemon extract and we have our Sprite. So this is called a cream cheese Sprite Bunt Cake. So we're not gonna prolong the time. We're gonna go ahead and get this to mixing. We're gonna cream up our butter and our uh, cream cheese. We're going to cut that off and we're going to add in our sugar. We're going to mix this up for about five to seven, six, five, six, seven minutes. We're going to pour in, this is three cups of sugar. Yeah, pour all that sugar in there. Okay. We're going to Whip this to this all creamy, whipped cream like. Okay. Okay, up. As you can see the texture, this is how it's supposed to look. Okay. Now we're going to raise the pan up on it. Now we're going to add our eggs. And these are five eggs. We're going to add them one at a time. Make sure you get mixed in well. That's what you want to see. Uh, puffy cream. want to get it mixed in real good. Now, 
one at a time to so make the cake better. And this is five eggs at room temperature. Your unsalted butter, three sticks of unsalted butter, room temperature, and your cream cheese, eight ounce at room temperature. We're gonna pick we're gonna take your spatula and you're gonna mix this up because it don't get the bottom of the uh, cake pan so you want to mix that around okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our flour I'm gonna scoot this. Ooh, this head out the way. Okay, we're gonna swift up. It's called swift. We're gonna swift our flour. So this is three cups of flour. Let me see if y'all can see me. Let me bring it up some. Let me bring this over a little bit. Now, here's our bowl, here's our flour, and we're gonna need some baking powder, which you're gonna use a tablespoon and a half of baking powder and a teaspoon of salt. So we're gonna put that in there. And then we're gonna need a teaspoon of salt. Okay, there's our salt. Now, we're gonna swift. I mean, not swift. Uh, how you say? We're gonna sift, not swift. <laughs> I can't talk, so we're gonna sift. Oh gosh. Okay. This is three cups of flour, all-purpose flour. You can use um, the cake flour if you like. Now, we are going to give this a mix. Okay, make sure this is all blended in good. Let me wipe my hands. Okay, there, our flour, as you can see, is done. Now, these are our wet ingredients. This is our three, four cups of Sprite and our lemon zest. And this is our uh, vanilla extract, which I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in. And this is our lemon extract. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna pour that right off in here. And I think that was like a little teaspoon. Mm, teaspoon. A lemon extract, I'm gonna add a little more because just a little more. Okay. So I'm out. I just used the rest of it. So we're gonna get this. I just use this thing. 
I'm going to mix this in with the Sprite. We're going to get this a mix. I mean, a stir. And what we're going to do, we're going to alternate the flour and then the Sprite. Little bits at a time. So let's mix the vanilla extract in. Okay. Let me bring this back over here so you can see. I'd rather turn the camera that way. Okay. Now. That's what we're going to do so it won't splash everywhere. We're going to use, we're going to alternate. bit of Sprite and we're gonna mix turn it up a little bit Sprite and we're gonna mix. Start out slow because you don't want it to splash all over the place. shut it off we're gonna take our spatula and we're gonna get down at the bottom mix it in because as I told you this machine don't get all the way at the bottom like it should so we gotta give it a little help gotta get a little help Turn it back on. All right, we're gonna go in with our last flour. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it all in there. our Sprite. And we're going to let it, let it uh, do what it do, slowly. Okay, 
we're going to take it up. And while that's going, we're going to be spraying our pan. Give it a little help. We're gonna take our spatula. We're gonna get down on the sides. Let's get this a mix. Let's get it all corporate in together. And you don't want to, uh oh, you don't want to uh, over, over stir it, mix it. Let me wash my hands, wipe my hands off. We're gonna get this one more turn, and then we're going to be baking us a cake, y'all. <laughs> Cream cheese right pound cake. Make sure y'all come in below and let me know what y'all think of this recipe when you make it. I think you're gonna like it. I'm gonna turn it up. Spatula and clean this down here. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. Get all that goodness out of off this little spoon here. Gonna get me another spoon. All right, y'all. Let's get this cake in this buck pan. That's how it's supposed to look. Now we're gonna even it all around. Sure you get all that cake out of there. Okay, now you're going to take your spatula and you're going to even it out. My oven is set at 325. 
Actually, it was set at 350. I turned it down to 325. And this cake is going to cook for about 45 to 45 minutes to an hour. It all depends. I'll let you know when it's done. Okay. So, this cake is about to go in the oven. And once it's done, I will show you the end. We'll be back. Let me. So I think it's good. So. Okay. Going in the oven at 325 for 45 to an hour. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. Here is our cream cheese pound cake. Just took it out of the oven, so it's hot. Let me give y'all a little story. So, if you know, when I was making it, I put the cake inside the bunt pan. It wasn't this bunt pan, it was another one. Y'all, if I tell you I smell something, I was like, what is that smell? Bernie. So, the other bunt pan that I had the cake in started leaking from the bottom, so I had to switch it out and put it in this bun pan. So that's why it did it look like it. Then as I put it in, it spilled all over. So I had half of the cake <laughs> at the bottom of the stove. So I had to clean it up. But anyway, this is, here's the cream cheese pound cake, uh, cream cheese Sprite pound cake. So once it cool, we'll be back to flip it over. And I might even put it a, a a glaze over it. I don't know yet, but it's done. So we're waiting on it to cool off about 30 minutes to an hour and we'll be back. All right, y'all. So here we go. Here's our cream cheese Sprite pound cake. And as you can see, I told you uh, the other pound, the cake pan that I used was leaking up under the bottom. So I had to Hurry up and switch it out and put it into my other pan. So anyways, it came out good, even though it took some of the size because whatever. But anyways, here's our cream cheese pancake. It still came out pretty. I think it came out pretty good. And I made uh, some glaze. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and put it on here. We're gonna top it with it. I'm gonna take this around. Just go on around with it. And there's our cream cheese Sprite pound cake. Here we go. So let me know what y'all think of this recipe. All right. Until next time, y'all be blessed. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.